Okay, so I'm, uh, yeah, I'm going to start by mentioning I'm not from your country, I'm from, from Denmark. And, uh, and the, basically the first thing that happened when I moved here was that uh, one of your people, uh, <laughs> a, British, a British man, he uh, flirted with me. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> and in the process of him flirting with me, I learned uh, a whole new word, because uh, he came up to me and said, <clears throat> Hello, I am a bit of a chubby chaser. Uh, that's a word <laughs> that you guys have here. Thank you. Uh, for those of you who don't know, a chubby chaser is a person who will only sleep with fat people. Now that I don't mind, I thrive on that. Uh, <laughs> what I mind is the word chubby chaser, because let me tell you one thing, there's never really a need for a chase. <laughs> I don't run, so <laughs> I wouldn't even if I could. Uh, basically, like, uh, like I, like, I kind of like the word chubby chaser because it's, it's a word that describes me. Like, I am a chubby chaser. I prefer fat guys. Uh, it's fun. Mostly because um, it's always, it always gets a bit awkward when I sleep with skinny guys because there's a lot of insecurity. You know, the whole thing where he doesn't like his body and I don't like his body. <laughs> gets a bit weird. Uh, but I like, I like, because I like my body and I like being fat, and it's, it's taken me quite a while to get there. So it's always, it's, it's weird when you meet people who don't know how to deal with it. Like there's another guy who hit on, on me, and his way of hitting on me was just so. It's the same guy. <laughs> it sounds better when you think there were two. Um, but this was his, this was his pickup line. He thought this was okay. He said, "Hey, I like big girls, but you should know." I've never been with one of your kind before. <laughs> I know. I was like, that is a lot of pressure. <laughs> Just being chosen as the leader of my people. <laughs> Just being the first fat girl he's going to sleep with. Because in that situation, I can't do anything right. Because if I go home with him and I'm good, I'm going to ruin it for all the other fat girls. <laughs> and if I go home with him and I'm bad, <laughs> I'm not. Um, <laughs> Pretty good, so <laughs> that wouldn't happen. Uh, you, were, you were offended on my behalf. I think that's sweet because I, I wasn't because I thought it sounded sweet, like one of your kind. Like he makes it sound like we have a club. <laughs> it's like an organization for fat people, which would be amazing. We just meet up, just do a bunch of inactivities, <laughs> sit around and drink gravy. <laughs> we have this one day where we pretended we were skinny. So we could talk like skinny people and just be like, um, I have a waistline. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Like, uh, oh, I can fit in a plain seat. <laughs> like, oh, I put crisps in a bowl before I eat them. I have too much time. <laughs> Not really sure how it works. I don't know. It's fine. And I just, I kind of like, like, you also get to, you have to deal with a lot of people who, who behave like, like, who, like, here's the thing, like, because you meet people who don't think it's okay to be fat. And they're sometimes fun and sometimes they're just idiots. So there was a man who came up to me after a show and said, I love when you're on stage how you talk about the fact that you're unattractive. <laughs> like, that's not what I do. <laughs> that's like about being fat. It's not the same thing. <laughs> like, you're everything that's wrong with the world. Uh, <laughs> Uh, like another guy, that was, uh, I did a uh, gig a few uh, a few weeks back, and I was heckled by this guy who said, um, "Fat girls are always friendly." Uh, so uh, we had a little chat, and he changed his mind. <laughs> uh, thank you. You've been very nice. Thank you for listening. Good night.